Welcome to the Dynamic Thriving audio blog, where we're very spiritual with a good dose of practicality in support of your life transformation. This is your host, Mary Ann Pack, spiritual medium, oracle for the many, and a joy advocate. Today's audio blog is entitled, Challenge, Write My Magical Bio. Recently, I was in a work lighter challenge with my coach and mentor, Darla Ledoux. She is an amazing coach and has been encouraging us to tune into our magic, as she likes to call it. These are magical gifts that we are given and some others that we can develop over time. Like any talent or gift, we must use them to receive the most benefit for ourselves and for others we serve. You can take her magic quiz at sourcedexperience.com. I highly recommend you do. My magic is expression, recognition, and a sprinkle of pixie dust of expansion. There are six archetypes of magic in her quiz. My expression magic is how source speaks through me with downloads of thoughts, messages, and is very in the moment. That's why I love giving readings and answering questions with my spirit guides, the many. Many times when I'm in a coaching session, I will say things that are directly from source and since they were not created by me, I may not remember exactly what I said. So if I'm coaching you, you need to listen carefully because it could be a message for you directly from source. My recognition magic is experienced when I see patterns. I see number sequences frequently as signs, animal spirits or nature signs, and I see patterns in books or listening to conversations. So, as I speak with clients or anyone for that matter, I hear patterns in what they say. I can see where patterns of thought may be stumping them, even when they don't notice they have a block and do not understand why they feel stuck. I can help them see beyond the block to the possibilities and help them tweak what needs to be shifted for their transformation. My expansion magic shows up as I see the potential for things to be bigger and even better than they already are. When I'm coaching someone who is moving forward with a project or through a lesson, I can see even greater potential than they can see. It usually inspires them to dream bigger and then implement some of those visions of grandeur. During this five days with Darla, she challenged us to write our magical bio to help us flesh out and put to words our magic and how it shows up for us in our work. As any of us focuses on our magic, we will be more influential and effective in our work of transformation with clients. We, as coaches, are also blessed with transformation during coaching sessions with clients. So, coach and client experiences magic. As we begin to work lighter because we are tuned in, tapped in, and turned on to our individual and unique magic, our soul gifts, we will experience much more ease and flow in our service. Our work and life will be such a joy and give us a delightful satisfaction and fulfillment. So I wanted to share my magical bio from the challenge. This one is in the first person because I wanted to feel as if we were in a conversation over a cup of joe at our favorite coffee shop. I hope you enjoy. Welcome home. We love the idea that a home is a place of love, joy, acceptance, and freedom. But trauma from indoctrinated beliefs disrupts our lives, disrupts our peace, and disrupts our knowledge of who we really are. You are invited to come back home to your freedom. Come back home to who you really are as an innate goddess of joy in the flesh. When you come into my presence, it feels like home. 
I exude peace and calm. You will feel safe sensing my energy of light and joy coming into my home online or in person. My home is a sacred space where you will feel safe to be who you really are without judgment or shame. I've been told that my voice has healing qualities as I speak with the wisdom of my spirit guides, the many. Their messages will resonate with your soul. You will receive more in one uplifting session than by traversing your path alone. You will experience clarity where once there was only confusion or questions. I am a master at recognizing patterns of thought and see signs you may not have noticed that are blocking the life you desire and deserve. I know exactly who you are on a soul level and will help you translate that into your own knowing. As you learn to hear and act on your own inner knowing, you will trust yourself and your intuition for the wisdom required to walk a meaningful life. I hold a vision for who you are and what is possible until you also can see it for yourself. Together, you and I will reawaken the joy within you and create a reality that is an endless adventure into more life, richer relationships, optimal well-being, and dynamic service in the world. Some people have described my essence as joy, sunshine, light, genuine love, and open-mindedness. I'm happier when you show up is a sentiment from people who enter my sphere of influence. I can only hope my happiness is contagious. As social creatures, we feel the need to belong. As you join our spiritual community, you will feel that your home, you are seen, you are accepted, you are loved. You will begin to remember that you are joy in the flesh, Why try to figure it out on your own? Wouldn't you rather bypass the traffic of trauma and head straight home? It's time to disrupt the patterns of pain and struggle. You know you want to be in joy, so why aren't you? It's time to shake up your life, break the old cycles playing on repeat, and live a life of joy-filled thriving. Join the dynamic, thriving spiritual community and come home. Let us welcome you home to the divine in you. Well, how did that make you feel? Did you sense by magic coming through? Did it tug at your heart to find out more? How would you write your magical bio? What gifts and talents would you include without saying what you do as a business owner or professional? What's your magic on the inside, on a soul level? Do some things just come easy to you and they benefit others? These gifts and talents feel so normal to you that you think everyone must be this way. This was me when I realized my recognition magic helped me see patterns. I always wondered why I was the one that could find all the errors in books. Of course, this only applies to material I haven't written. Sometimes I miss my errors because I've looked at it every way, up, down, and sideways, until I'm cross-eyed. It's always most difficult to see our own blocks and mistakes. Maybe there are innate magical gifts that you have, but you've had to suppress them or to keep yourself safe. I feel you. That was definitely the case for my expression magic. What patriarchal traditional church wants a kid running around spouting off words from the divine when they teach that we are innately sinful? They may have thought I was possessed. I now know that as I lean into my magic, my work will be even more potent. 
It is my desire as I work with clients, write books, create courses, and facilitate our spiritual community. I want to be so in tuned to source that whatever I do in this world, it makes a profound impact in raising the consciousness of the planet, one magician at a time. I want you to know that experiencing as much joy as possible is your life's purpose. We all came into this physical life with that purpose and intention. If you're not living in joy most of the time, then it's time to ask for support. I am your joy advocate. It's time to create your own magical bio. Let me ask you again, how about you? Do you know what your magic is? What comes naturally to you that blesses others? Or what magical gifts have you been hiding because it didn't feel safe or you were shamed into silence? Being shamed and silence was huge for me. As I've discovered my indoctrinated beliefs of not being as valuable because I was a female and that my voice, my needs, and my wants didn't matter as much as my male counterparts. I realized the lies they really were. When I found out I was not innately sinful, but instead was joy in the flesh because I was an extension of source, my transformation soared. Now, I freely use my voice to declare my truth. My entire mindset began shifting and my life transformed. No longer sick and miserable, I was at peace and filled with joy. Sure, it took me years and I'm still a work in progress, but what a different life I'm living now. You don't have to take as long as me because I didn't get coaching right away. No one was teaching people how to heal from religious trauma and be spiritually sovereign back then. Doing it on my own was so much slower and tedious, yet the transformation has been miraculous. You can move more swiftly into knowing who you are and living in joy. I'm inviting you to receive my guidance. I know you may still feel the sting of the emotional trauma because of your indoctrinated beliefs from your religion, your culture, or society, but there is hope to live a happy, meaningful, and joy-filled life of thriving. I promise. If you're longing to move into thriving, and joy, let's talk. I'd love to gift you with a Discover My Joy and Well-Being session with me. You'll find it at my website, MariannePack.com. And if you scroll down on the first page, you'll find that session available there. Let's visit and see if we would be a good coaching fit. You've heard the saying, home is where the heart is. Well, my heart can't wait to meet your heart. I would love to encourage you to join our free Facebook group, the Dynamic Thriving Spiritual Community. This is a private Facebook group at Dynamic Thriving to create a healing community and support for our transformational journey. As we grow this group, we will feel the belonging that so many of us long for. The link will be in the show notes. If this post has resonated with you, please like, comment, and share this post because there are others out there who need this work. They need to feel the love and the joy that they truly are and the magic that they are. Also, be sure and subscribe to this podcast as it helps my work expand and touch more lives with joy. So thanks in advance. 
Welcome home. This is Mary Ann Pack, your spiritual medium, oracle, and joy advocate. The Dynamic Thriving Podcast is a production of the LPL Podcast Network.